This is MIMO. It promises to deliver at-home gait analysis with a simple two-minute test. MIMO sent me this to test out, but this video is not sponsored. So let's check it out. Inside the package, you get a quick start guide, a sock to hold the sensor, the sensor itself, and a little bag to keep it all in. The test is carried out using the sensor in conjunction with the MIMO app on your phone. The sensor connects to your phone via Bluetooth. So to set it up, first you're going to need to download the MIMO app. Once you've downloaded the app, you need to sign up for a MIMO account and then sign into the app. Once you're registered, you can set up your sensor. You do this by going to menu, go to my app settings, and then hit the sensor setup button at the top. This will then show you the four steps required for you to connect your sensor. So making sure your Bluetooth is turned on on your phone and it's somewhat close to the sensor, you then need to turn on the Bluetooth on the sensor itself. You do this by holding down the button and you'll get a blue light confirming that the Bluetooth is on. Once you've done that, hit the search for device button and it should find it pretty quick. Then just tap the complete setup button and you should be connected. If you back out of this screen, you'll be able to see that you're connected, you'll get the sensor's ID, you'll get the current battery level and you'll also get your last sync status. If a sync is required, then you can hit the sync now button. But if this is your first time, then obviously you're not gonna have any last sync data because you haven't done it yet. If this is your first time using the device and you're ready to start the test there and then, you can do so straight from the sensor setup screen. All you do is hit the start my test button and believe it or not, you will start the test. The first thing you need to know is that in order to carry out the test, you're gonna to need to run with your phone. There's some on-screen instructions that you need to follow when you're carrying out the test, so you're gonna to have to have it with you. The second is that it's recommended that you run on a long, straight, flat piece of road with a smooth surface, and that's key. You're really gonna want a smooth surface because you've gotta do this test in your socks. You can't do it in your trainers. You can, however, if you prefer, also do it on a treadmill. So if you've got a treadmill at home or you're able to get to the gym at some point in the future, you'll be able to do it on a treadmill. Once you've picked your location, put the MIMO sock over the top of your normal running socks on whichever foot you wanna start with. It doesn't matter which, as you're gonna have to change halfway through the test and test both feet. The sensor should be fitted into the front of the sock with the red part facing outwards and the button facing up. To start the test, you're gonna to have to tell the app which foot you're gonna test first. Once you've done that, click next and then follow the on-screen instructions. The test will ask you if you're ready to run and if you are ready to run, hit start the test. You'll then get a 10 second countdown where you should stand still in a neutral position until the app tells you to go. Once the app tells you to go, you get a 50 second countdown at this point, you should be running. At the end of the 50 second countdown, the phone will vibrate, letting you know that you can stop running for that portion of the test. At this point in the test, you'll be asked to switch the sensor to the other foot and you'll have to do the whole process again. So 10 second countdown, 50 seconds of running, and then when the phone vibrates this time, that will signify the end of the test. After a short time calculating the results, they will be ready to view. Don't worry if you run out of road halfway through the test, you can spin around and come back and the algorithm is clever enough to factor that into the result. You can also carry out as many tests as you want. Once your test is complete, you can view all your results based on the date that the test was carried out. One thing to note, however, is that at this stage, there is no way to rename, reorder, filter, or even delete tests that are on your list. The reason I mention this is that in order to capture footage for this video, I was carrying out a test just sitting at my desk, using my hand to fake running along the road and I'm unable to delete this test from my list. I have fed this back to MIMO, so this may change in the future. At the top of the results page, you will see two columns, one for the left foot and one for the right foot. Under each foot, you will see whether you pronate, supnate, or are neutral. So here you can see for both of my feet, I have mild pronation, which means I roll in slightly as I land. Below that is your foot strike. This will be either heel strike, 
mid foot or fore foot. This is where your foot lands when you run. So here again, you can see I am a four foot striker, meaning I run up on my toes. Then underneath that, you get your overall shoe recommendation, which for me is neutral, meaning I don't need any additional protection in my shoes. Then below that, you will get an animated explanation for each foot of your pronation and your foot strike. This will help you understand a little bit easier what's actually happening each time you land. Then below that, you get some additional stats on how many degrees you pronate, in my case, per foot. So you can see it's eight degrees on the left and six degrees on the right. You get the foot strike again, then you get the ground contact time, which for me on the left is 0.28 seconds and on the right is 0.29. And you also get an individual result for each foot, which for me is neutral for both. Finally, at the bottom, there are two buttons, one with some additional explanation on each of those categories listed above, and the other will take you into your personalized shoe recommendations. Shoe recommendations can be accessed either through the test results page or the My Products tab on the home screen. In here, the app will list all of the shoes suitable for your running style based on your last gait test. This is only for road shoes, however, although you can see trail shoes on there if you want, it's just not linked to your gait test. You can then filter the results based on brand, fit, maximum heel drop, maximum weight and even color, as well as all of those results by price, either low to high or high to low. Each of the shoes has a short review as well as a features panel at the bottom so you can get more information about that particular shoe. What you can't do, at least you can't do it right now, is actually purchase the shoe through the app. This will give you all the information you need to help you decide which shoe you want and then you take that information and go and look for the best price elsewhere. I don't know if this is gonna change in the future, but that's how it is for right now. The Mimo costs $59.99 here in the UK and as far as I can see isn't actually available in any other countries at the minute. But bear in mind this is a new product and so it may come in time. The cost of gait analysis varies wildly depending on the technique used to carry out the test. Some running shops offer gait analysis for free in store and are even starting to offer it for free online based on you sending them a video and answering a short questionnaire. Typically this this will consist of a short session on a treadmill in a neutral shoe whilst being filmed, followed by some questions and then a review frame by frame of that video. You will then get recommendations about which shoe will best suit your running style as well as the option to try some of those on if they're in stock. More involved tests can cost in the hundreds of pounds and will typically last longer and involve much more sophisticated equipment including things like 3D tracking. After completing my first test, I was unable to actually see my results. I got stuck in this loop where the app said that I needed to sync the sensor with the app in order to see the results. I would press sync, it would say that the sync was successful, and then I would go back to the start of the loop. This carried on for a while until I decided to uninstall and reinstall the app, and after that, I was then able to access my results, no problem. I've since spoken to the folks over at MIMO, and they said this is a known issue. Typically, this happens with Samsung phones, although I am using an iPhone, and they are working on a solution, so it may well be fixed by the time you watch this video. Keep in mind that this is a very new product and in fact a very new company. It was only launched in October 2020, so there are bound to be some teething problems when something is this new. Gate analysis is something that most people don't think about until they've been running for a while. Heck, I've been running for over a decade and I haven't had a gait analysis before now. MIMO gives you enough information about your gait to make an informed decision on what running shoes are best for you without you needing a PhD to understand it. MIMO is a great at-home solution helping you get the information you need without selling you on a specific brand. Or anything, in fact. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.